And here we are for another installment of Skip's Sauntering Snippets. Today we're going to talk about FITN, First in the Nation Primary. Um, what a sordid mess the Democrats are making this. Yes, New Hampshire has been doing the First in the Nation Primary for about a hundred years. And frankly, I think we've done a really good job with it. I think our folks are really interested in politics. You know, there's that old joke, hey, Ebenezer, what do you think of so-and-so? Oh, I don't know, Fred, I've only met him five or six times. Which shows that people really want to have the retail politics here in New Hampshire. They want to meet the candidates, oftentimes several different times, before they finally make up their minds. They really do weigh the alternatives, the stances, the way that they speak, and the way that they present themselves. They really get it. And it also allows, obviously, for those that have very little money to actually get some traction here in the state, as opposed to the big states like California, where the only way to really get your message across is big uh, commercial TV and radio buys in those large markets, and that's expensive. So somebody on a shoestring has no way of competing. New Hampshire also has a lot of areas that are politically uh, varied, that, you know, or political demographics, or identities, as the Democrats want to put it, where there are very, uh, there are a lot of areas that are conservative. I happen to live in one, you know, fairly Republican as well. And then there are those areas, especially around the college, uh, er uh, college towns. Portsmouth is another one. Uh, Concord is another one that are fairly liberal to really hard progressive. So you have the length and breadth of the ideas that people care about in their own little ways. But once again, we see other states, bigger states, more varied states as far as skin color is concerned. The, the Democrat word is diversity. Um, saying, hey, New Hampshire and Iowa shouldn't have it. Well, Iowa really botched it with their caucuses last time around for the presidential. New Hampshire just keeps ticking along and along and along and along. So I think at this point, even with everything I just said, it's clear that the uh, Democrats are tired of Lily White New Hampshire uh, going ahead as the first in the nation, regardless that there are people solidly Democrat embrace all the progressivism and central uh, centralized uh, Democrats as well, giving a total uh, spectrum of the polit political uh, thought here in New Hampshire for their particular party. But unlike Republicans and conservatives who see people individually for who they are, what they think, and what they do, which really does go back to Martin Luther King's uh, content of your character. All the Democrats are concerned about are your skin tone and what your facial features look like and perhaps your hair. You are nothing but a group person. You are no individual. You're only a member of your particular collective community. You are not allowed to vary from their narratives. And anyone that does, aka a black conservative, for instance, is immediately outed, called an Uncle Tom, a traitor to their race, and other epithets from this inclusive party. Well, that's the way it seems to go. So I have no hopes uh, that New Hampshire is really going to keep their, uh, on the Democrat side, keep their first in the nation primary. Although they may scrape by this last tie coming up in 2024, but the ident Democrat identity politics totem pole is getting too large, too round, and too tall to allow that to continue to happen. They don't have principles other than government should be in charge of everything, and they have to keep all of their different identity groups in line with themselves. So they create the fear and they promise them free stuff. For me, I've been saying this for years. 
It's nice that New Hampshire has the first in the nation primary. Even I get to go to the Democrats who are running for president. I've done so in the past. It wasn't looked upon very kindly when I showed up with my camera, but it is what it is. However, I will shed no crocodile tears if the Democrats move their first in the nation primary from New Hampshire. The fact is, I wouldn't cry crocodile tears if the Republicans did the same thing. As I have said many times before, I think it is a huge time waste and a huge taking your eye off the ball of what really matters here. We have a saying at Granite Rock, screw DC, save New Hampshire. By getting rid or losing the first in the nation primary, each party is going to have to concentrate on what matters to the people. What are elected politicians doing here in New Hampshire to save our liberties or screw things up, depending on which party you're in? That, to me, is the most important. And when you have limited resources, because most money for politics comes in to New Hampshire from out of state, it will force the parties to concentrate not only on the statewide races, but the local races as well. And maybe those local races will become partisan again so we actually know who's running. But we will see, and I'll probably talk about this again. I'm Skip, and this is Skip Sauntering Snippets. Until next time, have a good one. Crook TV.